A uh, quick walk around video of some progress. I haven't done a video in some time, so I just sort of bit of a bit of a uh, walk around tour, I suppose you could call it, and just show you what I've done so far. Just get you guys up to date what I'm doing. Um, some things will be new, and some things you've already already be, would have already seen. Um, same scenario with everything: sandblast, paint, um, just a good reconditioning of everything, bearings, seals, and things like that. Uh, the next thing I'll be working on now is the um, ball screw for the X-axis. That's the next thing to go on. Z-axis is done. Uh, so I've re-balled that. Um, same scenario with everything. As I say, uh, blast paint. Uh, there's probably not much else I can probably show you inside the machine itself. Uh, just work, working through and just stripping things down and trying to get any small parts done. Something I've just um, just finished yesterday is the tailstock. So this has all been stripped down, sandblasted. Uh, so that's all looking not too bad now. Same colour as the rest of the machine. You can probably see you'll still see a bit of green down the bottom there. As I mentioned before, that'll be the last thing to get done is the um, coolant tank. I just roll that out and get that blasted and powder coated. Um, so this is uh, another thing I have to rebuild. You know with. Um, seals and things like that there's not much huge amount of bearings in there but just giving it a good clean there's some um, the holes in here for the clamping to clamp it to the bed it'll make a bit more sense as i work my way through as 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 with the scenario with most of the video just bringing you down to the working end of the machines i always refer to it there's a bit more done down this end there's still a couple of tiny jobs to do to just finish off down this end but the bulk of the work's already finished uh, some of the, as I say, some of the stuff you'll already know, you'll already know the spindle motor's in. Uh, I left you with the hydraulic tank sitting on the floor, uh, just back from powder coat. So that's in the machine now. Um, same thing with the spindle motor, uh, fully disassembled the uh, the motor, the hydraulic pump unit. Um, sandblasted, painted, new bearings, everything. Same with the, all the pipes are all being sandblasted and, and uh, repainted. But um, cables are all in on this end now, so you can see a few, a few of those cables are all, so we've got, um, we've just got to bring the power in for the opposite end of the machine where the transformer is, but I've got to get the, uh, there's a sheet metal, a fairly large sheet metal panel that goes from one end of the machine to the other that has all the cables sitting in it, so that's probably the last thing to go, and I've got to get the tail stock and the x access. Uh, slide or turret back on before I before I do that because it's a bit hard to lower it in there's not much room for movement in there but you can probably see most of that now just take you around to the electrical cabinet not a huge amount's changed here you've seen the bulk of this um, pretty much already assembled I put the main units in but I've just run all the cables now down well down this end of the machine now so that's the um, electrical cables all, all finished the uh, main thing to do now is just get the, uh, well, the main parts on is the, the tail stock to get in and the turret. I've just got to muck around with that a little bit because I've got to modify the modify it to uh, the linears I changed, which I showed you in an earlier video. I, I upgraded them to a different, um, well, I can't say upgraded, maybe downgraded to some people, but I've changed the linear slides uh, because I couldn't get access to the um the new well the genuine slides i suppose you could say the nsk ones um the, the price and the time to get them was like in excess of six months and as i mentioned before i think it was something like that, over 4k uh, just for the um just to supply it so it wasn't even about the money even if i had the money i still can't get it but um, i will bring you back as, as i get to that this one I'm sort of jumping in on things half finished and you've seen most of the rest just bringing you around to the back side of the machine now uh, where the transformer is. So that's what I've got to wait on now is just that um, fairly large sheet metal panel. I've still got a little bit of work to do on that. It's not even, it's still sitting in that green colour. Uh, so that's got to be blasted and, and uh, powder coated. And then I can start to bring all the services in. So all the cabling and everything from this end of the machine. So the um, controller uh, connected to the electrical cabinet and bring in the, and the uh, power supplies, hydraulic hoses and things like that too. Uh, so that all runs through in, in, that, in that sheet metal cover, which makes a bit more sense when I get to that. But um, I'll bring you back when I get to it. And that'll probably do for this video. Just keep it fairly short. And I look forward to seeing you on the next one. Okay, bye for now.